Last time on the group Hardcore Iron Man series, I got Hydra's Claw number six for the farmers, sadly, but it wasn't all bad at Hydra. Curtis got the fourth and final Hydra's Leather, so that means we are all done with Alchemical Hydra. Speaking of Curtis, he also got an Armadil chest plate, which is number three for the team. And the farmers went off to Bandos, and we got Bandos Hilt number nine, which is just stupid. And we got our first ever next skill. That's actually interesting. So, 237 Aviancies. I actually have Aviancies as my stored task as well. If we have black chins in the group storage, or red chins, or whatever, I could try a little solo trip. Okay, just finish him. My stats are brewed. Just finish it. Okay, great. I'm surprised I actually hit that one with 69 range. <laughs> Okay, well, there is my entire Aviancy's task completed, and, uh, sadly, we got absolutely nothing. No thing. But, it was fun anyway. Well, I just finished that Armadil task, and you know what? I'm in an Armadil mood. I'm gonna keep it going today. I have had an Aviancy's task stored for a really, really long time, and I just don't get the hunch we're gonna use it anytime soon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unstore that. And now we have Aviancy's again. Back we go. No! No, that's not what I want! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm only 119 KC, to be fair, so I can't be too upset about that, I guess. Well, there is an Armadilla Hilt at 119 kill count. We'll take it. Well, you know, I'm just happy I got something. A little dopamine, you know? Why, hello there. There is a God Sword Shard 3 off of a minion mid-kill. Yeah, at this point, I don't think we need any shards. I'm pretty sure we have, like, well more blades than we have hilts. I think. Or maybe we need this. I don't know. Good burb. Calling helm. I mean, that'd be alright, to be honest. We don't have a helm, so that'd be alright. Oh! Nah! I'm gonna have to go back and clip that. Somebody literally just said calling helm. No way! I swear to god, somebody just said that like 10 seconds ago. Oh, baby. So that's obviously not as exciting as like the last chess play would be, but that is the farmer's very first armadillo helmet. Now, that isn't that big of a deal in terms of like PVMing with it or whatever, but there is a master clue scroll that requires you to show the Armadil helmet, so that's that's good to have, man. That's good to have, let's go. <laughs> we'll take it. Alrighty, this is going to be the last Kriara kill of the task. Of course, I got a, a few minions to kill to actually finish the task, but... Well, I tell you what, that, de that task definitely made up for my first one. My first one, I got nothing. And then this one, we got an Armadil hilt and an Armadil helmet. Not bad. Just doing a lovely little Bloodveld task here, and I just got level 97 attack. Oh, 1.1 mil to a level. But, eh, we're getting pretty close to 99. I'm hoping I get a barrage task as well, because I'm very close to a magic level, so. A couple of good combat levels from Slayer today, hopefully. You know, I knew this was going to happen sooner or later. <laughs> I just got the master clue step for a fighter torso, and I don't have it. I mean, it doesn't take very long. I probably should do it. And that'll do. All right. That should be more than enough points in all of the rolls. Thank you guys very, very much for your help. Penny Trader, Luke Snake, Cole Bro, Little Big Dude 7, that's Hunter. And I think there was a couple more people that helped me that are no longer around, but uh, that sounds bad like they're dead, but... <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys very much for your help. Let's go ahead and buy the Penance Torso. Let's go. Okay, let's go uh, carry on with our Master Clue. And the Torso Grind was worth. We have in our possession a Master Casket. Is it any good? I mean, that's... that like That's kind of like an Iron Man goodie bag. That's like a lot of herb supplies. That's not bad. Now, I think I've mentioned it before, but long-term, Curtis does plan on maxing his account. So recently, he's been doing some Venonatus in an attempt to get some red spider's eggs. Verify yourself. Oh, baby! Pickaxe number four for the farmers! And Venonatus 
is done. Damn, not too shabby at all, boys. Not too shabby. Oh, that is smashing. Yeah, smashing. That's going straight in my mining tab then, mate. I'm keeping that one, bro. That's my special baby, that is. 69. Nice, nice, nice. Right, looks like we're off to Serapnis then, boys, because we now have 2,100 nests or 2,100 spider eggs, and we have just over 3,000 snapdragons. So we need to go and do 1,000 more eggs now. So that should be very doable. Here we go. Oh, Ranger's tights. Oh, baby. Basically, Ranger boots, mate, effectively. Ranger boots, mate. And in an attempt to get an Armadil crossbow, Roydy and Curtis did some duo Saradome and Gob Wars. Hey. There we go. Okay, okay. Progress. That just feels so much better than seeing nothing all day, man. <laughs> I was just complaining how we haven't seen anything. We saw that Sarah light last time, but nothing this time. All right. Oh, it's coming in twos. The floodgates. <laughs> no, not at the end of the trip, though, no, please. Unless we just all snowball now. Well, sadly, the two Sarah swords is all they got. Not a particularly useful drop, but, you know, it's very nostalgic. The Sarah sword will always hold a special place in my heart. Ah, yes, there it is. There is level 98 magic, like I mentioned, so just one more level left to go, and that actually is one of my favorite 99s, to be honest. The uh, ability to change your spell book with the, uh, the magic skill cape is... Mwah. So, one level to go. Oh, look! Another abyssal demon task, another abyssal whip. <laughs> I'm so spooned here, man, I love it. Because they just look so good on the floor, you know? Oh, ho, ho. Duradel wants some content today. Okay. Say less. One set we take those. Oh, speaking of, there's two sets. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm pretty sure that was... Yeah, I, I was seven minutes slower than my PB. I'm very consistent. I'm always right around that one and a half hours. Give or take a few minutes. Okay, well, there is another fat XP drop. There's a uh, Zuck kill number three. Uh, no pet from the kill, but... <laughs> you know, I, I'm pretty sure I said I was going to get the pet from the cave last time, but I was obviously just kidding. Um, this is the time I'll get the pet. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is happening? R Rune Defender Ornament Kit? What the hell? Do I even have a Rune Defender anymore? I doubt it. Oh, I do! No way! Let's slap it on. Oh, that's actually sick. It makes the whole thing gold. That's dope. Well, anyway, we also have a, a master clue we just got. Right, so I have a master clue that requires me to fletch a rune dart. Now, fletching a rune dart, that's going to require 81 fletching. Which means I need to get at least 76 and then a plus 5 boost. And you know what? 70 to 76 fletching, that should be really easy. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh my god. I, I forgot how much I hate the process of making headless arrows. It's just so slow and you get like no XP. But we have uh, just about 60,000 headless arrows ready to go. And now I got to buy some broad arrowheads. Sadly, this really is as good as it gets as far as Iron Man fletching goes. Unless you have tons of bars sitting around and you can make uh, dart tips. See, but nowadays with the Giant's Foundry, I'm not even sure that I would do that anyway. So, time to splash a bunch of money on the arrowheads. At long last, alongside, well, my ass, there is level 77 fletching. Now, I technically could have stopped at 76 and boosted, but now that I'm 77, I can use a dragon fruit pie to get an easy plus four, and then we don't have to worry about spicy stews. Alright, and thanks to a very humble Curtis tipping, I've got some rune dart tips, so we'll eat the dragon fruit pie, and there we go. Okay, we are now on... Oh, it's the casket! Oh shit, okay, sweet. 
I was afraid I was gonna have to end up dropping it anyway, but nice. Alrighty, here we go! Well, that's about what you expect to get, don't you? 199 Greater Demons. I have been waiting for a Greater Demon task so I can finally use my Dark Totems. Let's do it. First Elite Casket so far. Oh, baby! Ranger Gloves. I don't think we have a single Ranger's Tunic. So I don't think I'm ever going to wear these, but we take some Ranger's Gloves. That's sick, actually. Oh. Oh. If you just oh. die, right there. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Huh. Just the insta death on the first <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Stacked the fuck out. Oh my! How did I get hit? What? What even were those hits, bro? I Two think... 22s and a poison splat. Yeah, it must have been an Ulm auto, a falling crystal. Holy shit! Pro? Why me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> He's what fucking did I do to you? you? <laughs> oh no! Not again! <laughs> Oh no. Oh dear. Well, I'm stuck! I couldn't walk back! Get the fuck down! <laughs> of course there's a fucking crystal behind me. Oh. The most amazing grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. And literally just in the pan. <laughs> Every other word is literally. literally. I feel like Gordon Ramsay died like 10 years ago and he just was replaced at some point by like a Gordon bot. And he's just like... <laughs> The Gordon bot is just kind of closing in on itself and its mannerisms. <laughs> I was holding back sharing why Skater Boy is actually a bad song until you weren't preoccupied. Okay, okay. Let's let let's hear about your qualms with Skater Boy. If you just if you like actually pay attention to what Skater Boy is telling you, she's just there like, hey, young girls, you know that loser boyfriend you got? Don't leave him, because he might be rich and famous someday. <laughs> <laughs> That's just all it's trying to say. Bro, how annoying do you think it must be? Or, like, in the future, whenever Joey Chestnut is done competing, and he just, like, goes to a cookout. It's like, this gonna be enough hot dogs for you there, Joey? Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Man, I just want to eat a hot dog like a normal guy. We were just talking about that, too, how... The co that competition was today. 63 hot dogs in 10 minutes, which apparently is not even close to his record, so... Which is absurd. Well, sadly, we did not get anything from the duo raids, so we figured we'd try our luck at some duo Ceridomen. I think I just like cinnamon, because, like, I don't, I don't like coffee, but occasionally Robin will want some coffee. So if I, get a, if I go to a coffee shop with her and I get something... Pretty much the only thing I'll get is a chai latte, which is literally cinnamon milk, and it's delicious. So good. <laughs> Just get, like, a hot chocolate with a dash of cinnamon. Yeah, I, that would be good, too, yeah. Chai tea, also known as tea tea? Tea tea, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that once, that chai just means tea in, like, Indian or something. It has come to my attention that Indian is not the name of the language they speak in India, so I would like to yeah, apologize there are, there for that. There many languages spoken in <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I was very genuine about that. I did not know that. I was just taking a look at the movies showing, and I see the new Thor is out. Gonna have to go see that. But the real reason I brought this up is, would you judge me? If I said that I want to go see the new Minions, because I feel like it'll be a fun time. Not at all, boy. <laughs> I don't know. I just watched the previews, and I'm like, you know what? I bet this movie would entertain the shit out of me. I kind of I kind of like the Despicable Me movies, honestly. That whole, like, franchise. Yeah. I, I've I seen... haven't seen a lot of iconic movies like that, but I, I was made to watch that one. By a chick that said that I was like Gru. Which I didn't know how to take as a compliment or an insult. Wait, wait, wait. A chick that said you were what? Like, Gru. Oh! Similar in personality. <laughs> I was like, are you, are, you, are you making fun of me? I don't know how I would take that either, actually. That's funny, though. 
Yoink. <gasps> no, I just alked my fucking range potion. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get fucked. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Pretty soon, you're gonna have to start making sure Iron Mammal is ready for uh, <laughs> being able to do content like Raids 3. Yeah, I know. That's the thing is, like, it's not. <laughs> I, the, the things that I have out from charity streams aren't like game breakers minus the Tebow. Lacking the Tebow is, is bothersome because I also lack the Bofa, so. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the thing where like the the big thing you get is gonna be the best thing there, like scythe for Tob and yep. Tebow for chambers. So it's yeah. probably gonna be a little bit magic oriented. I can't imagine the Tebow or the scythe would be overwhelmingly good in any one aspect of that raid. Yeah, I mean we've said that before about Tebow and shit, but I I do agree True. that <laughs> like ah surely they don't make another Tebow meta boss, right? Oh, they did. How do you know? Who would have thunk? And sadly, we did not get any loot from Duo Ceradomen either. Hate to see it. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. I do apologize there wasn't a whole lot of group content. And even in that, there was no drops from the group content. But this past week, the farmers have had very conflicting schedules. So we really haven't been able to link up and do much stuff together. But it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon.